We just obviously gave us an extra capacity one in the machine, but it gives us the option to do bigger parts and it just gives us flexibility. That's what you need in a subcontractor. Mike, we're here at Little Wee Engineering. Who are you and what do you do? So we're a small subcontract engineering firm that pretty well make anything really, just whatever comes through the door. Whatever comes through the door. So we're standing in front of your most recent investment, the Quasar MB234. I see this is your latest investment. What made you go for this machine? Because it's quite a big machine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, well, it gives you flexibility, whether you've got something massive you want to make or something tiny, we've got 10 vices we can put on it. It just gives us flexibility. That's what you need as a subcontractor. Yeah, so subcontractor, we were talking earlier about how you do little 10 pieces off on a machine or you can do up to two meters so yeah. how has this machine helped the growth within your company we just obviously gave us the extra capacity one in the machine but it's given us the option to do bigger parts and as i'm sure you're aware aluminium sector at the minute is really really vibrant in the uk and a lot of extrusions going through it so i've been here before with you with your other quasar machine so you've stuck with the quasar name what has made you stick with them we're just happy with it to be fair it does everything. I kind of feel it's just an all-rounder. Do you know what I mean? It's not necessarily like a super speed machine when you're getting just, but you can only cut aluminium. We can cut anything on it and get it off at a sensible time scale. It's a huge machine, isn't it? And you've got quite a small, well, not small, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, small it's big place, inside, yeah. but from the outside, you look and think, oh my gosh, how did you get it in? So tell the, tell the viewers how we got this machine in here. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, really, that they managed it. But um, yeah, we took the wall down and jacked the roof up a bit and then... Um, the um, Merits brought the machine in and it's really impressive how they, they literally brought the road up for like five minutes even though it's only a single track road and just literally brought it through the wall on a fortnight. You've got this machine, I know you've invested heavily in ETG, you've got a Nakamura and another Quasar, so what has made you stick with them as a company? Well we, we just find them really nice to work with, they um, really look after us and the machines are great. No one else gave us the support that um, ETG have given us through like flexibility of delivery to even be an understanding on the um, help with the finance of it and everything it's just been brilliant okay. like when we bought the Nakamura they delivered it and installed it within a week of ordering it because we we're in a hurry on this one we wanted to wait a while they kept it I think about six or seven months for us just so we can just bring it in and when, we, when it suited us and not on their time scale and it was really flexible as soon as they go I think they go on a Friday it come on the Saturday sort of thing it was mental really you know so once it was dropped on the floor, how quick was it up and running, um, once, making consumables? Well, once we sort of gave them the green light to come and do the commission, I think that was about three or four days and we was up and running and everything come in as it should. And the machine behind us is a huge machine and I see you can do multiple setups with it. So what is the machine doing? Is it running lights out? Is it running throughout the day? We've done a bit of both. When we've got like some big complex 3D milling, we run, just leave it on. Um, it's got a nice little feature, it turns off when it finishes the part. <laughs> um, and, but if we're sort of like, generally run from 7 till 10 at night. I think we've only not run it two days since we've had it since oh. in last July. So we've made anything from like small buttons to sofas like 19mm diameter, um, right up to two metre parts, up to two tonnes. And um, we've even, you could go smaller than that, you know, it didn't really make much difference really. And being a subcontractor, like you, you are making a range of different parts, probably from like 10 offs to 1,000 offs. Does this give machine give you flexibility? Definitely. That's, that's why we bought it. That's why we stuck with Quasos. I just feel like they've just bang got it right where they're fast enough to do the, the quick work, but heavy enough to do the heavy work.